hello guys welcome back in this video let's rig the fins so the first important thing is uh, placing the joints in the fin so what i'm going to do is i'll be taking this traditional way uh, because project project uh, snap uh, i don't know whether it works uh, correctly so the, the other way should be like selecting those vertices okay and then creating a cluster there so how many joints you want to create just uh, accordingly create clusters So I've created the clusters here. So you should be able to see this is how you get it. So I'm going to create a join chain. So uh, joints will be created with the default settings. So I press V and then snap uh, the joints on the clusters. Once the clusters are placed, delete the clusters there. Select the join chain with the select hierarchy method and then reduce the size to 0.1. So I'm going to name this as uh, pectoral fin joint one okay so i'm going to copy that and then i'm going to put it here so naming is uh, very important and um, most importantly uh, these joints are on both sides left and right so right now it is left side joint so i'm going to select this and I'm going to use this tool called prefix hierarchy name in the modify. And then I'm going to prefix this with LT underscore, which makes it left side joints. So once that is done, you can select this uh, fin joint and then parent it to any one of the joints here. So I'm, I'm parenting to the root. Okay. So I'm going to select this joint. I'm going to choose the mirror joint tool. Uh, mirror joint will happen on the YZ. And here, I mean, if I just reset it, it's, uh, it should be... Um, changing it to XY so I'm choosing YZ search for LT and replace with RT so the naming changes will happen here when you say search for LT any any LT word in the name of this joint will be replaced with RT so once that is done just uh, put it there like that and I, I want to automate this uh, rig so what I'm going to do is firstly I'm going to create a NURB circle make sure that this NURB circle is uh, facing in the x axis like that because my joint chains uh, child axis is x or primary axis is x so i'm going to name this as uh, pectoral fin control okay but again you need to prefix this with lt and then once that is done i'm going to scale the vertices here okay once that is done i'm going to delete the history of it and i'm going to group this okay and then um, whatever name I've got here, that name will be put in the group also, but suffixed with group. The next thing is I'm going to add attributes here. I've shown how to do follow through animation with the scripting. So that same um, idea will be applied here. I made a video tutorial on that. I'll be sharing the link in the description. So I go to modify and then choose add attribute here. And then I'm going to add two attributes, okay swing angle okay it is a float unlimited and then swing speed so you got these two attributes created here for the control i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to select modify search and replace names i'm going to search for lt and replace with rt so that it becomes the right pectoral control so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the left pectoral joint one and left pectoral control group. Then I'm going to use the constraint that is point constraint. And another one is going to be the orient constraint. And that will generally orient the control in the direction you are expecting there. Okay. Uh, so this control is uh, basically oh, way big. Uh, you can make it small or leave it like that. Once the control is placed, delete the constraints. I should be able to see your control is having uh, the zero values and I've, I'm, I'm not very much interested in that but just uh, I just wanted the orientation to be matched so I'll, I'll select this joint and then we have this rotate Y okay rotate Y I'm going to choose uh, for the joint and then I'm going to use this expressions here okay so left pectoral fin joint is going to be controlled by the time uh, so I'm typing sign times and I'll be adding this controls attribute. So but before going into that, let, let's 
uh, bring up these attributes here. So one attribute. Okay, I'll be putting that in the word pad. Okay, and uh, the next one is also be in the word pad so that I can copy from here. Now let me select the pectoral fin rotate y, and then I'm going to write this expression is that is sine time multiplied. Okay. Uh, it controls the speed so i need to bring up the speed uh, attribute there okay close the bracket and then multiply that with the angle okay so this is the script so name of the joint dot the rotation channel is equals to sine into time and time can be multiplied with any number so i'm multiplying with the speed and that should be multiplied by the angle okay and then create the uh, expression now now when i play it okay the joint should basically swing but you need to select the joint and then give an angle of 10 and speed of one or maybe three then you should be able to see that fins will just move like that okay so i'll go back and then put the values to zero now i'm going to select this joint okay rotate y so i'll, I'll copy the same expression so i'll just go to the joint ones script copy that and then enter then paste it now here you need to put joint number two first thing so you are doing it for the second joint and then instead of sign you need to write cos and then for the angle you need to make it negative okay that's the second joint uh, script so i'll just uh, put it for the later joints also and then name them as joint number three and join number four select all that copy it and paste it in the word pad and then edit it now let me select this control put an angle of 10 and speed of 3 and you should be able to see that nice loose fin animation okay so i'll be selecting this control put the values to zero you should be able to see the same attributes are created for the next joint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this joint and this group and then uh, bring up that uh, with a point constraint and the orient constraint and delete the constraints there. Now once that is done, okay, select the pectoral joint on the right side and then you have rotate Y. Let's just go to the expressions and then bring up this expression here. Okay. But one thing I'm going to do here is um, I press Control H, okay, and then type LT, so it will search for LT, then replace that with RT, which is left side joints become the right side, and then uh, replace all, and then you should see all are now right joints. So I'm going to copy that and make sure that the joint names are same as we have. Now I'll, I'm going to select this control and then put this value. And then you should be able to see that swing okay so let's put this into the test so i'll go back and then put the values to zero select the root joint and the model okay root joint and the model and then apply the skin, bind skin option i'm using the reset and then bind it now i'm going to select the body and then put an amplitude of 0 0.1 and wavelength of 3 okay and then select these two controls and then put angle of 5 speed of 1 and then switch off the joints and the controls make sure that these two are also in the same layer so that i don't see anything except my model and then you should be able to see the fins are quite loose let me see what's really happening with the joints Let's select these two joints and put a bigger number. Angle, I'm going to put it to 20 and speed of 2 so that I can clearly see them. I should be able to see that fins are nicely moving on both sides. Uh, it's There's some uh, serious skinning problem there. Okay, let me just go back and then bring up all the controls. Reset the values to 0 to Uh, fix things so i go to the geometry and then go to the uh, unbind skin option now select this then go to this bind skin okay 
uh, bind method i'm going to choose the heat map option okay and then just bind it okay uh it's asking to clean up this model because of non manifold geometry i'll just go to the mesh and then just do the clean up here and then just enable non manifold geometry clean up so there are some issues here on both sides of the model i think there is some serious uh, penetration let let it be i'll just leave that like that i'm going to select these two again and then go to the rigging and then bind with the heat map method it's not working on the model and let me see if uh, these joints will have some issue there's uh, some uh, issue but it's it's generally has put down the whole uh, effect okay so let's uh, bring up the amplitude of uh, 0.1 wavelength of uh, 4 and then select the controls and then put a angle of 15 with a speed of 3 so that i can clearly see them and then hide all of them and then play it then you should able to see that nice fins uh, swinging okay uh, the angle is way too much i'll just select that both controls i'll increase the speed to 5 and angle of 4 okay very subtle but yet the fins are visible okay so you should able to see that uh, we got this beautiful swing uh, in fins and also swim in uh, the fish